Hey guys, good morning. We have just been on a like four hour drive out to Indiana to check out Notre Dame for Kate's PhD program. And we're currently trying to figure out where the heck we're going because this campus is way bigger than we expected it to yeah. be. So, oh my God. We were going to wander around for a while, but you're meeting her at what? Two? two? Yeah. So we have less than an I, hour. She just said that the library, the one that we're meeting at, is the one across from the football stadium, which we just passed. Okay. So we're actually kind of close to it. So yeah, I will take some footage of this giant campus and it's weird brick. So <laughs> brick is so weird. our Jesus statue that this is apparently known for right in front of the church which is over there you can see the spire from here where did we come from just this direction Moses looks very dramatic over there. I'm gonna take a picture of Moses. <laughs> Super dramatic. Moses on a rock. You never seen a white duck? No. What? That's usually swans. <laughs> no, they have white ducks. I'm really curious what that random building right over there is. Duck ducks. Gorgeous. Like guys. They're way too close to me. I'm so upset if I don't get in. <laughs> Like, what you doing? Um, it's my number one. Hello, we just got out of Kate's <laughs> meeting with, who did you meet with? Uh, the admissions advisor for graduate students. Which I just like creepily eavesdropped on because <laughs> I was right outside the door and she didn't close the door like I expected her to. So, but yeah, we are walking around the campus, which is beautiful. I've taken a lot of clips of it. There's a lot of construction going on, so it doesn't sound beautiful right now, <laughs> but... <laughs> It's just really hot, so I'm sweating, and we are about to head home here soon. Most likely, we're gonna get some Duncan. I'm glad to hear that Duncans exist in Indiana because I, I wasn't sure about that. I was literally about to be like, if there's not an Dunks within 10 minutes of the campus, I might have to not come here. <laughs> like, I don't know if I can handle that. <laughs> yeah, I was not sure how far out Duncan goes this way because I know like California and Western everything does not have them. So. Yeah, we're gonna go get some Duncan and some food and then take the four hour drive back. So that was our Notre Dame, Notre Dame I can't talk, every uh, excursion for the day of an eight hours of driving, but it's fine. Yeah, it was like eight to four hours here. We spent three hours on campus and now four hours back. Yeah, but it's worth it for how pretty it is. And yeah. now Kate's gonna be super sad if she doesn't get in. So everybody pray for Kate. I'm so upset, please <laughs> pray for me. Like I'm gonna try my best to get in here and I'm gonna be so upset if I don't. That's a nice uh, off kilter angle. <laughs> yeah, right? It's artsy. <laughs> so hot outside. I feel like I'm gonna die. I'm very dehydrated. <laughs> 
So we're getting tea and water and some food so we don't die. I feel like my hair has literally melted throughout the day because I'm sweating. The dash literally says it's 92 degrees. Yeah. No, thank you. Thank you. You just gotta hold yours. <laughs> I'll down it before we get anywhere, honestly. <laughs> Thank you. How's it? Huh? How's it? Good. Yeah. yeah. As good as the other one. But that's the same, honestly. Yeah. Why's my dunk suck? <laughs> mm. That is so refreshing. Yeah. I know it's called a refresher, but like it really lives up to its name. I feel like the Starbucks refreshers are not refreshing. They're just like chunks of strawberries. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Oh, I do not like the strawberry. Uh, the Starbucks ones. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Why has every Duncan clip of ours ended in disaster? <laughs> <laughs> a single thing today. <laughs> I get copyrighted for some new songs. <laughs> but we just got out of church and we did nothing today besides sit in the house because we are literally dehydrated from yeah. yesterday being outside at Notre we Dame. We were actively dehydrated. Like we googled all the symptoms of dehydration. And we had all of them. <laughs> and we were like, that makes sense and I'm not someone who's like normally that dehydrated so I was like what's going on and now Kate has is just rethinking all of her life choices. Yeah my entire <laughs> life is because of the dehydration. <laughs> Everything that's ever been wrong with me. <laughs> so we are finally trying to be somewhat social today and we're going out to get some socially distanced dinner and that's literally all that's going on today. I think we're going to, oh my gosh, the sun is yeah, the terrible. Sun is we're going to, we're planning to go to Half Price Books tomorrow and get rid of the like hundreds of books that are in my living room right now. <laughs> and, like bins that Kate brought from New Hampshire. So hopefully that happens because if Half Price Books doesn't do it, all of my local like small bookstores are gonna hate us. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what we doing that's all that's happened today like literally nothing else has happened i like vaguely i finished a book at some point that i had like 100 yeah. pages left and that was it that's all we've done just put a bunch of books in the little free library and we're actually taking two books which is crazy yeah this one's for Haley. yeah i like the michael Crichton, which i have not actually read jurassic park but i have seen all of them i've been <laughs> wanting to read it. i've read one of his other books i forget what it's called because he has like a million them. Yeah, and then I got Beowulf, which I read years and years and years ago, but I never actually got a copy That's of. That's a cool cover. Yeah, I think this is like the probably, oh, it's the bilingual edition. Oh. <laughs> so, perfect. We are in a creepy basement area of my local used bookstore, and I'm about to start a new YouTube series. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> these books. Here we go. Of the most random books you can find in a used bookstore. The United States and Japan, and Fast Girls. The myth of the slut. <laughs> there you go. This is Those what happens. Two books. This is gonna be my new YouTube series. <laughs> Kate can't do it because she doesn't live here. But <laughs> wait, 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 another one. Girl talk. God talk. <laughs> what your friends can teach you about prayer. What? <laughs> All right. Okay. This has got to be like the 1990s. Oh my God! It's like a health, a self help help yep. book. Literally, I'm gonna show you this basement. It's awesome. Hold the on. 2000s. What? Look how big it is. It looks so much bigger on camera. Honestly, like we could be in a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I found these. Like, 
you knew who to talk to. Yeah, you're a cat. Are you a cat? Awesome. Time number what? Four? Four? Five? Five? We're done here? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Okay. <laughs> How many? This is at least four. We might be on five okay. for. Yeah, it might be five for the Dunkin' refreshers. Peach passion fruit. If we can't convince you to do that, now we're probably never going to because <laughs> that's all these vlogs are. Let's <laughs> <laughs> gang Dunkin'. Chick fil A. After so much book shopping, we're gonna do a car Chick fil A mukbang. Woo! Woo! I'm starving. Yeah. We got a lot of books, but we're not actually gonna show them in this vlog, vlog because we're gonna do a book haul together. Did they get us fries? You got this? No, no, fries. we didn't. Did we not get fries? I thought I said two number ones. I thought maybe you didn't say meal. Did you say meal? I thought I did. Mm. Whatever. Mm. It's fine. I'll eat it with something else. It's fine. <laughs> Just have a random thing of cheese now. Yeah, right. That's what but I shoot. eat my fries with. Yeah, I thought we, I, I definitely said number one meal. I thought. Yeah, normally they'll ask you if it's the just the sandwich, and they didn't. So. <laughs> Awk. But whatever. It's fine. I'm just gonna put this in. goes to other Chick-fil-A closer to Barberton to get fries. <laughs> What's your favorite, like, fast food? Burger King. Huh? Well, Chipotle if you consider it fast food. Mm -hmm. okay. But, like, drive through fast food Burger King. I think you're the only person I know who says that. I've heard that. <laughs> and I'm like, why? <laughs> I understand like why Burger you don't King. like Burger King because you can't eat burgers. <laughs> Their Impossible Whopper is my favorite thing, though. Like, I don't like Burger King that much, but when I do go and I get the Impossible Whopper, it's amazing. It is really good. And I like their regular Whoppers, too. Mm. The Impossible Whopper is, like, the one fake meat that actually does genuinely mm -hmm. taste like meat. And I've tried a lot of fake meats. <laughs> I have not eaten beef in... Coming up on five years, and then possible Whopper, I had like a flashback. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, this is what meat tastes like. Because mm -hmm. you can say like mushrooms taste like meat all you want, but they don't. No, I'm not. <laughs> I love mushrooms. I do too. But it doesn't taste like meat. Chick fil A is definitely my favorite, like fast food, fast food. I would put Chick Fil A second, probably. Because yeah, Chipotle is definitely number one if that counts. Chipotle is number one period of any restaurant. <laughs> I find that so funny. I'm probably one any restaurant. Maybe Soul Garden. Yeah. Their food is really freaking good. I'm not gonna lie, I was debating being like, can we be those people and show up to the 4th of July party tomorrow with our own food from Soul Garden? <laughs> <laughs> I want my fries. <laughs> I know, I'm, maybe that's why I was like, it seemed way lower than it was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. It was also the most efficient drive through line I've ever been through in my entire life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was probably the most efficient thing I've seen <laughs> since COVID. <laughs> Yeah, if I were to say, like, a restaurant, Seoul Garden, my hometown Korean restaurant, I really or liked, my hometown Chinese restaurant. I really like the Korean restaurant in Mass that we went to. The one with the Korean barbecue that we got that was, like, it was by the bookstore in town. Oh, that's technically Japanese, but they do Is have it? Korean food, yeah. It's called Arigato. Mm. I honestly, actually, I changed my answer. Full garden for Korean food. 
oriental flavor for Chinese food. It's in Amherst. I really like Number One Kitchen, which is our Chinese food place in my town. Mm. I don't think we've ever gotten Chinese food while I've been out here since besides wasabi was technically Japanese. You're right. No, it was basically Chinese food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was some good food. You guys have really good food. We had a lot of food. Mm. We have a lot of people. <laughs> mm. Yeah, when we go to New Hampshire, you're gonna be like <laughs> I'm in the mood for this. I'm like, okay, so two hours away. <laughs> <laughs> Where is everyone? <laughs> like, New Hampshire was empty before COVID. Now it's just, like, really empty. <laughs> I'm going to feel very post-apocalyptic. Mm-hmm. Dog. Why is she trying to cross right here? Is that a service dog? I don't think so. It's not. That is not a service dog vest. It's also pulling her. Service dogs do not usually pull. <laughs> do you guys have um <coughs> like heat up fries at your house, like frozen fries? My fridge is kind of empty right now. Mm. Literally, if we go anywhere near Montrose, I might like be like, hey, let's pull in Chick fil A. <laughs> I was gonna say, I would pull in here again, but that seems like a little weird. Because <laughs> they like were very personal. <laughs> <laughs> they were. Hey, where's our fries? Excuse me. <laughs> Oh yeah, if we had actually ordered them, like if they charged us for them, I would have gone back. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> they didn't charge us for them, so I'm kind of like, oh, that'd be weird going through. <laughs> we got rid of like 200 bucks today. Mm. The car is much lighter. <laughs> yeah, we got rid of like 200 bucks. We bought probably like 20. Yeah, I'd say between 15 and 20. About 100 bucks. 75 in credit <laughs> definitely would not have bought as many without credit <laughs> I got a really weird selection of books too so did I <laughs> we also got random little free library books oh yeah oh my god I forgot about that me. a random Michael Crichton book <laughs> Ah, that was delicious. Mukbang. Done. <laughs> Hello. So I did not do much like vocal updating today or any transitional footage of what has happened in the last 24 hours. But yesterday was basically a bust trying to go to Half Price Books because they were doing stuff by appointment only. And no matter how much research we did trying to figure out if everything was going to be open for us to drop off the like 200 books that Kate brought to Ohio. It didn't say anywhere that it was going to be by appointment. So we had to reschedule those plans to today. And so we dropped off a million books. <laughs> Hold on, my brother's being loud. <laughs> but we went out to Half Price Books. We got an appointment for like three o'clock and then I got a bunch of clips. We went to Snowball and the Little Free Libraries beforehand. And we got a couple books from Snowball and Little Free Libraries and then like a decent amount of books from Half Price Books because we had like $75 worth of store credit combined with like Kate's 200 books and my like probably 50 or so, which a lot of mine were graphic novels. So we got a lot of store credit and spent all of it and a little bit more than that. So we did just actually film a joint book haul. I don't know if that's going to be up before or after this vlog, but when it is up, I will link it down below, both mine and Kate's. But yeah, we have probably an hour and a half or so before we have to go to church, which Friday nights is normally like our youth or hyphen age, like anywhere ranging from like 12 to... 
30 really depending like I'm 27 I'm probably one of the oldest there but like our hyphen is very involved in our church and helps with the youth group so we are going to that tonight we're not actually having service because it's 4th of July and it's like 93 degrees in Ohio <laughs> but we're gonna have a water fight so obviously I will be changing my clothes because I'm wearing white <laughs> but yeah we're gonna do that tonight I will hopefully get a lot of very entertaining footage of our youth group I think it's gonna be super funny and good for the vlog but yeah that is basically the extent of what has happened in the last 24 hours and then me and Kate are leaving in like two days for New Hampshire we're leaving a little bit earlier than expected so that's your update. Hopefully all of these clips make some sort of sense. I think Kate also vlogged me, which I'll have earlier than this clip. I will have footage of me singing on the platform for the first time, or at least the first time in a long time at church. So enjoy that. I don't think you can hear me, but it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I will update later when we get to church. You're married. They should not be allowed yeah, to be right? partners. They're just both ways to <laughs> Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my gosh, I oh my god! Oh my Oh my Oh my Oh my god! There's a lot going on, we're over here, and then we've got a ton of people way over here. Kickball, but with soap and water and slip and slides. They're crazy. <laughs> Desperate to rise above his station, everything he does betrays the ideals of our nation. Hey, and if you don't know, now you know, Mr. President. Thank you, Secretary Jefferson. Secretary Hamilton. You have like little, like, TNT inside of the bullets, and when you, you shoot it, it really hard. Don't work. I remember, I, for Turn some it. reason, See, I was it laying out on a... Uh, on the ground in the middle of the street, like the eight or seven. This sleep. one sucks. <laughs> Dude, that didn't work. I don't know. I just fell asleep. And then Try one of my one. friends came by with the gun, which is like, I'm out of my ear. <laughs> Try this one. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 yeah, yeah. So Documenting it, the it stupidity. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm scared. Oh! oh. <laughs> we hit our butt! What was that? Can I Don't try? hit my butt! Yeah. It's I'm sorry, I got I'm gonna pop! Let me try. Ready? Oh, hold on. You're not, you're not, like, solid enough, Mariah. <laughs> no, it's oh. too late. Oh. <laughs> I don't have any back muscles, I can't flex. Turn it. Oh wow, I can't oh. hit it! Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Mariah, you're you're out? Really no, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Mariah, you're not <laughs> solid enough! <laughs> I got the game! Okay, Lexi did one already. Is, is there's another Wait, like, yeah, do a dual. Like I know, yeah, do a dual. Oh, a dual? I think she might have already used the other oh, one. Okay. We can use this bench too. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Kaylee's getting music. Pause. <laughs> what are we talking about? The Hamilton thing. Is it 10 steps? Is there a rhythm to it? It's just. Hey, I don't know. I think you just do it at the same time. You just go one. You have too much music from here. And, and then at 10, is that when we turn around yeah. and shoot? Sure. Is there a pause? I don't know what around? you're talking about. Is there a pause? Hey, do you, at 10, do you turn around? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, I don't know. What are you doing? He's gonna do the 10 seconds. Then there yeah. Go. Okay. One. Two. Three. Oh, Mariah's just going. <laughs> Far away. I can't. You have to be closer. Wait, you gotta take baby steps then. I can't help it that I have to take I was just gonna do five baby steps. Just do five. Five baby steps. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Mariah, you'd be dead. <laughs> Are you gonna shoot me already? I'm done. Don't shoot it! I missed it! Ah, there you go! I died then. My gun malfunctioned. Hello, I've been a terrible updating person for the vlog, and my hair is kind of a mess right now, and you can probably hear fireworks outside because it's the 4th of July. But we literally spent all day today, or a vast majority of today, watching Hamilton because it's on Disney Plus, and it was so good. I was so excited, and apparently Kate thinks I'm obsessed with David Diggs now because that's all you she are. got out of that entire You're, time of me he, watching it. He is your Broadway bias, <laughs> like K-pop bias, but Broadway. That's your bias. <laughs> Who, if you don't know, he plays Lafayette and Thomas Jefferson in Hamilton from the original Broadway cast. And I just, I love him. <laughs> He's so talented. But yeah, no, the recording was really good. The camera work was amazing. And I really loved being able to see, my hair looks so crazy. <laughs> I really loved being able to see all of the actual choreography. Because I did see Hamilton two years ago three years ago i think it was three years ago at playhouse square which is the big like professional theater near me with like 200 hundred dollar tickets which was a lot for not the best seats and it was really cool to watch but this is a very different experience actually like being able to see all the details with like close-ups and stuff but also still showing the whole stage and all of tommy kale's staging so I loved it. If you haven't watched Hamilton yet, now is the perfect time to watch it because everybody has Disney Plus now because all the Marvel and Star Wars are on there too. So if you haven't watched it, go do that. I'm probably going to watch it like 600 more times. I'm not going to lie. I would probably watch it like at least six times this weekend if we were not leaving for New Hampshire tomorrow. And I also really want to watch the documentary they released alongside it. And yeah, it was amazing. We just spent the entire evening, which the clips are probably before this. They probably make no sense, but I took a couple clips of our like small socially distanced get together tonight with like a couple of my friends for our last night in Ohio since that we are leaving for New Hampshire in the morning, like very early in the morning. So I'm actually going to end this vlog pretty soon. I might get some sparkler clips because we're still going to go back out and get some clips of that but it's probably gonna be a little dark so also you might just hear fireworks forever because there's like literally three houses around me that are setting off fireworks and kate is baffled by the idea that fireworks are legal to legal in ohio <laughs> legal in Massachusetts. <laughs> i can't relate to that this is like every couple days around fourth of july basically every year in ohio Although it is a little bit aggressive this year, I feel like, because everybody has been in quarantine. They're like, oh, let's go light things on fire. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. So there might be a couple sparkler clips at the end of this, but probably not. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you watch Hamilton. I will literally talk about Hamilton for like six hours if you give me the chance. So chat it up in the comments below. But thank you all for watching and I will see all of you guys next time.